So we looked at this problem before and did it with elimination. Um, we're going to take a look at it again. This is the only problem we're going to look at for our second day of the nonlinear systems. We're going to take a problem that looks like you have to do elimination and see that you can just as easily do substitution. The expectation is that you can handle either method to solve the problem. So we'll have multiple forms of this test where you and some other friend might have the same problem, but one of you has elimination and one of you has substitution. If you happen to do the wrong method, you lose nine of the 10 points. So make sure you follow the directions on the problem. It can handle whatever method we are going to, to ask you to use. So on this first one, uh, for elimination, when we saw it last time, what we're going to do is just multiply one of the equations by negative one. So I'm going to multiply this equation by negative one. So that's negative, 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 negative. And then we can just add them up. So let me add the opposite. Okay. So we end up with x squared. These go away. These go away. And we have four. And then we have x squared minus four equals zero. X minus two. X plus two. So we get x is two or negative two. And then you have to go back to one of the original equations and solve for x or y. So if I go to the first equation and I put in my two. I can go solve this and just solve by factoring. Set each factor equal to zero and I get what? Zero and two. Don't forget to put X first. So X was two, give me Y is zero. And when X is two, we also got Y was two. And then I can go solve for when X is negative two. So we go back to our second equation. We just plug it in real quickly. And still get four. This time it's going to be minus two y and everything else looks the same. Set each factor equal to zero. Oh, sorry, error on the last one. That was plus, so that becomes negative. And we come up with uh, negative two, zero, and negative two, two. So there are four solutions to the system of equations. All right, so let's take a look at what happens when we try to do the same problem, and I just change the directions on you and say, say, solve by substitution. Now, we talked about sometimes it's not the best idea to try to get x or y by itself, and in problems like this, in order to get x or y by itself, you'd have to complete the square, which would make this very difficult. We're trying to make the problems equivalent as far as difficulty. So what I'm going to look for is like, if I was thinking, if I could eliminate, I could get rid of the y terms. Well, that's what I substitute for. So I'm going to go to the second equation. I'm going to go get this expression completely by itself. Then I'll replace x squared with that, or replace this with that expression I come up with in the other uh, equation. So I want to get that xy plus y squared completely by itself. So I subtract the x squared over. So now I'm gonna take this four minus x squared and I'm going to go just plug it right in to that expression in the first equation. So now we have two x squared plus the quantity four minus x squared equals eight. Collect like terms, so I have one x squared plus four equals eight, I'm gonna go subtract the eight over. 
And I'm going to stop working on this because now I'm exactly at the same point I was in the last problem. So I finish the problem the same way, and you get the same answers. You get either plus or minus 2, 0, or you get 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2. This is not a problem where you want to put plus or minus 2, comma, plus or minus 2. That would add in two more points. That would add in 2, 2. That would add in negative 2, negative 2, which are not solutions. So if you're going to do the plus or minus, it's okay, but only when it's appropriate, not when you shouldn't like the other two problems. So be aware of this on the test. We can do either elimination or substitution for any of these problems. It, it will be given the same problem, two different or three different or four different forms, asking us to do things different ways. Uh, for your homework, just make sure you do the uh, worksheet. You'll have some problems where you have some options. Uh, do not always try to get X by itself or Y by itself unless that's the only way to do the problem for substitution. Tomorrow we'll take our quiz over this, and then we'll start up the new section after that.